What's up everybody? Uh, Jake Hancock here with Hancock Outdoor Services and uh, we're going to uh, be talking today about uh, striping and there are really two components that make up striping and how to have a really nice stripe on your particular large yard that you're trying to do. Now this particular one right here you can see I just did a straight basic pattern. I've done the S pattern before and really when it comes down to it, number one it has to come down to turf quality and I'll show you two differences in part on this property that turf quality comes in huge. Um, now uh, I will say this I want to show you this other one right over here as you can see this has got a lot of weeds it's got like a little a lot of different probably it's got like clovers it's got uh, oh some crabgrass it's got uh, creeping Charlie in it and you can see it doesn't really have much stripe look to it really so whenever you're wondering why if your yard isn't striping and it looks like this with a bunch of weeds in it you know it's because you don't have very good turf quality and I'll come over here and I'll show you the way that this is striped over here and you'll be able to see there's a lot less weeds now the reason why I believe there's less weeds over on this particular part of the property is because got waving but it's probably because it has a I believe there's septic tanks over here because it always grows so quick on this side and I'm walking over here so you, you guys can see the better part of the striped grass if you know mo you know what I'm talking about it's so whatever way the sun's shining and you should be able to see that I mean it looks darn good right now as it is and it's looking more full there's less clover as you go over in here and that's why I believe that the grass is able to push it out because all those weeds out because that's where it's at but if you look right over in here I mean these stripes I use you look over right in there it's very good so turf quality you got to have good turf quality to start off using striping if you have good turf quality your yards all make it going to stripe with a striper or not you're going to be able to see some form of stripe it may not be as good as if you have a striping kit and that brings me number two my particular mower which I'll show you has oh rollers on it, it doesn't have a striping kit on it but it still lays very nice stripes and I'll show you under here um, you can probably see some rollers right in there. Um, there are two rollers on the back of your mower. If you look behind your deck and your mower is more of a commercial style mower, it should have rollers on it. Basically, all Skaggs uh, commercial mowers, the lowest end commercial they got is the, I think the Tire Cat 2 now. That's the lowest one. And I've got the Wildcat 2012, which is kind of similar to the uh, equivalent to the Tiger Cat today. But you need rollers because your, your rollers roll the grass one way, then your rollers will blow, roll it the other way as you go back and forth. Now, it's all about the sun's illusion, so that's why you couldn't. Now, it's not very sunny here today, but if it were sunny, you'd really not be able to see the stripes too well because the sun would be shining on one part of the grass, and you'd be able to see it really well. If you go to the other side, you wouldn't be able to see it as well. It's all about the sun's illusion on the grass making those white, green, white, green stripes, which is very desirable that you want. But that's really all there is to it. Number one, you got to have turf quality to even stripe well or even see anything. Number two, you need some type of roller. Even a yard roller will work. If you're wanting just your own yard, a yard roller will work if you mow with it one time. Uh, you know, and that's one thing that really helps out and that can be very beneficial to you. But uh, really, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it and uh, you want more to see more, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. But until then, I'll see you next time.